Nice to see you again. Really? Oh, pardon my incredulity. I would like to examine them in any event. Let me see. The scrolls are old, no question, and the script. It's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the Devinter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. I need parchment, quill, and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. The bits I have made out. This may be an account of Maferath's final days, and perhaps more. I know. It's remarkable. The same Mafrath who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. When I finish decoding it, absolutely. But it will not be easy. It could take months. The ciphers were designed to be difficult for the Magisters to decrypt. Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find. Here is all of the allowance I have for acquisitions. Take it and go. A thousand, thousand blessings. If it isn't the champion who succeeded in the quest for the Sacred Urn, I had not expected to see you so soon. I've written to the Chantry, telling them of your adventures. They are interested in having me lead an expedition. What do you think of that? I'm quite excited. You made this all possible. I could never thank you quite enough, but I'm certainly going to try. Here, take this reward. I want you to have it. It will certainly do more good in your hands than lying around in this dusty house, eh? And if I can ask, have you gone to see the Arl? I have heard no news. The Maker smiles on us. Thank you. And now, if you will excuse me, I have so much to prepare for. I wish Waylin was here to see all this. You're here about your order? I am very, very pleased to say it's done. And it's garbage. I wouldn't let a festering swine wear it. Wade, it's amazing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Are you blind as well as stupid? The leg guards are too tight. It'll chafe. The die isn't even... Look here. I see a splotch. It's garbage, I say. <laughs> it's fine. Truly. It's a work of art. Here, wear it well. Now kindly leave. Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um... <laughs> you must be kidding. We're done. No... Heron, <laughs> more scales. I can make another set. Dear Andraste, no. I've been thinking every night about what I'd do different. It's all in my head. Dear Heron, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just give me the scales, friend, and I'll have my finest work for you. I'll just close the shop until he's done. Hey, thank you so much. Rotten bastard. Stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. And now you do. It makes no difference, however, for you are unwelcome in our camp. This is no stop on a traveler's journey. We have neither an inn for you to rest in nor bread to share. I suggest you move on. Is that so? Yet trusting outsiders always ends up with our people being enslaved or driven from their homes, so I trust you'll forgive our lack of hospitality. So I will repeat myself one last time. Go back the way you came and do so quickly. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours?
A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? I suppose that a lie wouldn't gain you much benefit. I shall bring you to the Keeper. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Hmm. I see we have guests. <coughs> and a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvenen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaprian, the Keeper of this clan. Its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Manners. From a Shemlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the South. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, even with all our magic and healing skill. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Andaran Atitian, Grey Warden. My name is Lanaya. I am Zaprian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? 
I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? How very loud that must be with everyone talking all at once. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. Being accustomed to pain and suffering does not make it any less tragic. It is said that one day we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have a question, if it's not too impolite to ask. Do your people regret what they did to ours? I see. That is difficult for our people to accept. Even if only some were in favor of what was done to us, the rest did nothing to stop it. A poet once wrote of them before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage, fearsome, pretty things. But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. As you wish. Darth Shiro. Uh, hello? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. Uh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. No, I, I couldn't do that. I must kill the beast myself. It is my rite of passage to become a full hunter. Wooing? I don't understand. I've serenaded her, and we've talked many times under the moon. But that doesn't matter if I'm still an apprentice. Not to her. Such as? I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. Really? I... I'm willing to try anything. Siranas, oh ma Siranas, I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. Andaran Atitian, outsider. You spoke to him? What did he say? Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, 
And he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? Oh, you are right! I have made poor Kamen miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. Kamen, I have been a fool. Gaina? Wh what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The Outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? Oh, I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. Here, take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Darkspawn. It's the very least we could do. I'm Darren Atitian, stranger. I am Athras. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. That is very generous of you. Most would assume we are unkind as a rule, and that is not the case. Especially not to a Grey Warden. But we have lost much, and it is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has... forbidden me. None of us are happy about this situation, and I least of all. But I shouldn't speak too much about this, especially with an outsider. I am sure you have little interest in my problems. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but perhaps you can help me. My wife Denila and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her... her body... I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf, and that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. I have an amulet made by our craftsmen. It's not much, but I would be happy to give it to you in return for any news. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Ferrothorn. And so they should. Truly, the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then. Please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? Yes, yes. The Keeper sent word that you might ask me for such. I took the liberty of assembling some goods that our hunters use. I notice you've already found the chest I placed it in. Feel free to sort through and take whatever you found there, if you've not done so already. I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across Ironbark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. 
It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Uh, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. That would please me, so long as our hunters come first. Darth Shiro, may the Creator's visit fortune upon you. <laughs>